time with Florence and many of the other sisters, and they have, through the word, warned and pleaded with her <laughs> to please, you know, get yourself right with God, because this is the way you get yourself right with God. And it's a personal decision. You can't make it for another person. You have to come to this realization yourself, and she has. It's been very encouraging. If you know Miriam, she's changed tremendously, and uh, she's had to deal with a lot of you know, her own issues, as we all do. Right. Well, she's here today because she's ready to put those things behind her mm -hmm. and to make Jesus Lord of her life, to get in that water and to have her sins forgiven, come up out of that water and new life in Christ. Yes. Yeah. So we are honored to be able to be here and share this with you today. Yeah. It's a very special right. day, and I'm glad there's so many friends and family have come out. Amen. So, Miriam, we love you very much. We are proud of you. Yes. And uh, But more important than that, thank God for coming. And God is ready for you to make this decision and to be accepted into the family, the body of Christ. Amen. It was last, I don't know, April that I met Miriam. And really, she has been a blessing to me. And uh, little did I know, and I wrote in a card to her, I said, wow, we were, we were absolute strangers last year. And, and now, to be able to be sisters in Christ, I mean, we have talked about, I think, everything under the sun. <laughs> And uh, I'm just, uh, she's got an amazing heart. And um, Miriam just, she's eager to learn. She has been searching for a long time. Um, she's eager to change. Uh, she's eager to do what's right before God. Um, and I just, I love your heart. And there's a scripture I wanted to read, and it's in Proverbs, if I can find it here. Um, in Proverbs chapter um, 8, it says, now then, my sons, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Listen to my instruction and be wise. Do not ignore it. Blessed is the woman who listens to me, watching daily at my doors, waiting at my doorway. For whoever finds me finds life and receives favor from the Lord. And, you know, Miriam has really listened, and she has went daily to God. And one of the biggest things that, um, you know, really Miriam had to work on was just her intimacy with God. And um, she's gonna share in a little while how God really worked in her life with that. Uh, but we have seen such tremendous growth. It's mm -hmm. just been awesome to watch her read the word and do what it says. And uh, I'm just honored to be able to get in that water with you and uh, watch you have a new life in Christ. I feel the same way. Um, <laughs> It's been amazing. It's been an amazing year getting to know Miriam, and um, uh, I found um, her her um, her love for God to be incredible, and her her wanting to know Him more um, only encouraged me more to uh, uh, to get into the Bible and, and just to hear her um, uh, in the study was was wonderful. It was it was very encouraging to me, and I I wanted just to. Um, I wanted to say I've only been baptized a year myself, so even going, being with Miriam um, just strengthened so much of my own convictions. And I wanted to read to her um, from Psalm 103. Um, praise the Lord my soul, all my innermost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord my soul and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeemed your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion who satisfies your desires with good things so that your mouth is re renewed like the eagles. Yes. And um, um, <laughs> I look forward to our continued um, friendship, Miriam, and um, uh, I know this is going to be a <laughs> great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, one of the challenges we gave Miriam when she was really trying to figure out how to really have an intimacy with God, have a relationship, not just you know, obey, um, was we challenged her to um, write a song. And um, she just absolutely blew Mary Ellen and I away when she read this song to us. So. It's just been an awesome journey to your God and Jesus with you this past year. Um, I have a soft voice, so I don't know if you want to come in closer. Um, gather around. Yeah, gather around. It's amazing. Outside a tornado rolls. My enemy, the devil, prowls like a roaring lion, looking for me to devour. Chaos surrounds me. Confused, lost, afraid. Terrors overwhelm me. My dignity is driven away as by the wind. My safety vanishes like a cloud. 
chaos surrounds me, painfully bruised and hurt. I am in distress. My eyes grow weak with sorrow, my soul and body with grief. Chaos surrounds me. With stubborn rebellion I fight. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Be still, surrender. I stand still to see this great thing the Lord is about to do before my eyes. I surrender to you, and you can do to me whatever you like. Order surrounds me, purifying change. Who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control mm -hmm. will transform my lowly body so that I will be like his glorious body. Order surrounds me. Embrace faith, love, hope. Remember before my God, <clears throat> God my Father, my work produced by faith, my labor prompted by love, and my endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. Order surrounds me. Peace, quiet serenity. May I live peaceful and quiet life in all godliness and holiness. The tornado withers into a hurricane. Tomorrow storm, one day rainy day, living water replenishes life. Dear Mighty Heavenly Father, God, what an awesome day this is. It is so encouraging to be able to see another soul added to your kingdom. Yes. Yes. And uh, Father, it has been such a joy to see Miriam's change and appreciate her and John and the family. And yes. Yes. We love them all dearly. Uh, but Father, not nearly as much as I know you love them. And as excited and as happy as we are, I can imagine you and the angels in heaven are just rejoicing yes. uh, louder than we can than we can possibly hear. Yes. Father, I really pray that you bless Miriam's walk, yes. give her wisdom, yes. give her strength, yes. give her courage. Yes. Father, she's already taken major courageous steps, yes. even just to get this far, God. It's, right. yes. it's a big deal becoming a Christian. It's a big deal right. coming into your kingdom. It's not to be right. taken lightly, and I don't believe she has. I pray, yes. God, that you bless her her every step. Yes. Please, God. And uh, God, we just thank you so much for calling us. Mm -hmm. We thank you so much for the grace that you lavish on us that yes. gives us a chance to have our sins forgiven. Yes. We thank you for the opportunity you give us to be able to be part of your family. We don't deserve yes. it. But, Father, it's just a, it's an outpouring of your grace. Yes. And I uh, pray, God, that uh, we can see many more souls one i know god that uh the the bible says that you desire all men to be saved and yes. i pray god that we can do our part do the best that we can possibly do yes. to be able to see that i pray for Miriam. i pray that you give her a spirit of evangelism yes. that she'll share her faith that she'll uh, be able to take the things that she's learned and share that with others and yes. they yes. share with more and father we know that we will see the world one eventually whether it's our lifetime or not we know that uh that, uh, that eventually people will know. And uh, God, thank you again for this day. We pray that this will be a day that uh, Miriam and John and her, her boys will never, ever forget. Yes. We love you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Miriam, do you believe that Jesus is the Christ? He is the Son of God, that he died and was buried and resurrected on the third day? And what is your true confession? Amen. All right, because of that confession, we can now baptize you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All of your sins we washed away. You will receive the gift of the Spirit, and you will be added to the kingdom, to the church, God's people. Amen. Okay. All right.